supposed to say uh, it's the 20th. Really? Did That'd you check good. the city website? No. Half the time I go out there and it's not updated anyway. So I suppose we could check that out. I don't know how it's City of Del Rio. City, I is think. that how it is? City yeah, Rio. I think so. The reason I was saying because I, I saw something come across the desk of the secretary at church. About oh, really? A, about a cleanup. Let me see. I'm gonna put my old man glasses on. See if I can see here. Uh, public workshop. Zoning meetings. Uh, is there a calendar of events? I don't see a calendar. City parks open for Easter camping, which they always do. Hmm. I don't see anything there. Not very informative. That's what I'm saying. Oh wait a minute. Uh, no. Maybe environment? Simply. Well, you would think it would be. Green City? No. No oh, calendar. Nothing. Yeah, like I said, there the city's website is useless. View all events. We could try that. I was following them on Twitter, but I didn't find that to be. Very valuable. Uh, let's try to switch months here. April. There's still. Well, there's a city litter pickup. Maybe that's. That's the 13th. Oh, wait, Maybe wait. that's what they mean. But that would almost make me think that's when they're picking up. They're going to come around and pick up, like, if you got the big items. You know, every once in a while they'll do yeah. that. I think that's it's usually the first week of the of the month though, which would be next week. So I don't know, let's see if it's got details. Nope. <laughs> Major fail. City of Del Rio fails again. <laughs> Click on more details. And it just says city litter litter pickup. At 1915 Veterans Boulevard. That's so sad. They don't give you any information at all. Oh, they're advertising Earth Day. Uh, yeah. Yeah, see, there's not much there. Hmm. Mm -hmm. The calendar would be nice. Yeah, with actual helpful information. would be good. But there is no calendar, is there? Have yeah. you, have you yeah. ever even found one? Yep. Right there. Oh. Oh, you got it on the... See, I'm I'm distracted with my own computer over here. Oh. Uh, yeah, see... Sorry, if, Let me back up. Yeah, see, if you click on View All Events from their main page. View All Events. Yeah. Scroll down. Oh, no, right there. Right next to Save the Date. Oh. A picture of yeah, Robert yeah. Parker, the city engineer. Our city engineer and FEMA floodplain administrator. So if you click on view all events, then you can switch to like month view and hmm. and it's virtually useless. It looks to be that way. Yeah. Put details. Eight to eleven. Yeah, it says so <laughs> that might be a citywide cleanup, but I would call it citywide cleanup. City litter pickup is not helpful no and it says click for more details but there's no there's de no <laughs> details no details more details not major fail del rio texas heart and soul but lacking a soul <laughs> <laughs> uh sadness sadness okay so anyway as we start to wind down here, one little bit of one last little bit of uh, <coughs> interesting news. Um, year years ago, mm -hmm. um, 
when I used to go take about three trips a year to um, Montgomery, Alabama, to Gunter slash Maxwell Air Force Base to uh, be adjunct faculty to teach some software for the civilian personnel school there. One of my co-facilitators who w was stationed until he retired a couple years ago uh, at Peterson Air Force Base, very, very intelligent man, he was into this thing called geocaching. And I'd never heard of it till he talked about it. But basically it's this this uh, hobby where people use GPS coordinates that are typically publicized on websites to go and travel to other places and there would be cleverly hidden some sort of a geocache. Some people would say cache. <laughs> and you would uncover this cache, this cache, and there would be like a container or something and you would open up and you would see something that they placed in there and you might place something in there yourself to add to it. And then you would update this website or these websites saying, oh, I was at this place. Oh, cool. <coughs> well, evidently this is pretty popular. Well, a few, several years ago, um, diving got into that game. So people came up with oh. scuba caches. Oh, that's cool. Well, evidently, a, uh, let me see if I can pull that website up now. I changed websites here. Um, here we go. Da, da, da. Evidently, the first one in Texas has been placed. <laughs> here we go. Does it have a gun in it? Yeah, right. Yes, evidently, uh, let me pull up the website. This is one of my favorite websites for diving news called Diver Wire. Screen region here, there we go. <coughs> Oceanic Ventures out of Houston establishes the first dive cache in Texas. So basically, if you go out to, and this is, I guess, the, the cache box, the cache box. That's that they cool. Created. So you follow basically this for this adds an additional element for divers because your your GPS will help you part of the way, but you still have to work out your na underwater navigation skills to get to this no, to wow. these things. So this, I guess, is the first one in Texas to actually be established, and it's at I'd never heard of this lake, but it's 288 Lake uh, near Houston. Uh, hmm. And I was like, well, they actually, then they actually have their own website. Welcome to 288 Lake. And it's a, basically a spring-fed lake, so it's kind of like Balmeray, uh -huh. but not nearly as well-developed. As a matter of fact, I think they have some photos here. Virtual tour. There we go. So they got little pavilions and stuff like that. Next, so it's bigger yeah, than Balmoran. Yeah, that's significantly yeah. bigger, but it's pretty. That's a huge spring-fed lake. Yeah. Wow, that's kind of neat. That's cool. Let's build a tree around, <laughs> or let's build a something around a tree. That looks really nice. It does look nice. Little docks for uh, entering the water and. And you know, well kept grounds like Balmeray. I bet you there's tons of places like this all over the state. There probably are. I know that uh, that Trish and Gay have talked about this place that's just east of us. Really? But they have very limited uh, months or, or weeks during the year that they actually are open to the public. Because so it's, I guess it's privately owned. Oh. Yeah. Well, Balmeray. For its location, because it's a state, yeah, it's a state park. It's too. you know, it's hard to, it's hard to beat that. The cost, <coughs> the water oh, yeah. is super clear. Yeah, I was looking at some of the pictures of. I was looking at some of the pictures from the. Um, um, some of the diving. Let me see if I can pull one of those out. Photo gallery, clean the lake. Does it give it? Any idea of the clarity? Oh, it's it's uh, not great. Let me see if I can find. Here we go. 
Yeah, see, it's about Lake Almasad. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, it is a pretty good body of water. Yeah. So I can so, see where other factors, other than yeah. like Balmeray, you kind of have. Oh my gosh, piranha! Huh. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's not a piranha. Balmeray is kind of like a big river. Yeah. The water's flowing through. So yeah, so uh, visibility is about like Lake Amistad on its worst. <coughs> its worst day. So. But anyway, that's uh, 288 Lake near so Houston. Well, that's a, that's, a, that's a really cool idea, though. Yeah. You kind of join that in the, the, whatever the network is. And of course, if I, I guess you'd have to have the funding. Right. Available to hit all the locations where the cash exactly the cachet exactly. yes is located. Yep, that's still nonetheless a cool idea. Yep. So for those who are into the whole geocaching thing, you can expand your horizons and get into scuba caching. And the first one in Texas is uh, now you can get information if you go to two eighty two eighty eight lake dot net scuba and caching. you can get information about that. So. Or check out Ocean Oceanic Ad Oceanic Adventures, and they are the ones who have established that first one. So, cool, cool on them. Well, let's do a little administrivia before we sail out here. Uh, we got um, next Del Rio Del Rio Dive Club meeting on the 18th of April at Rudy's Restaurant at 7 p.m. Uh, our Balmeray State Park trips are scheduled for May 17th through 19th, June 14th through the 16th, July 19th through the 21st, and uh, our anniversary weekend, August 16th through the 18th. And we do have our basic classes scheduled for this year, 23rd through the 26th of May, 27th through the 30th of June, 25th through the 28th of July, 22nd through the 25th of August, and 26th through the 29th of September. Um, it will be very challenging to pull off classes this year, given how far you got to go just to get to the water. Hopefully that'll be rectified. I don't know that we... We'll have to have a significant r rainfall. I, I can too. only hope that the dam upstream breaks again. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> That's about all it would, all it would uh, happen. That was the only way it would happen, I think. And uh, you can always visit us at DelRioDiveClub.com or check us out on Facebook slash Del Rio Dive Club. You can send us messages via Skype since uh, Microsoft has now put to bed the old messenger and is now merged with Skype. So you can send us messages at Two Guys Who Dive via Skype. And eventually we'll be adding that Skype feature into our podcast, which nice. will be cool. Or you can send us an email at tgwd at outlook.com. And, of course, you can send me an email at robert.wade at setifox.net. Or you can follow me on Twitter at robertcfp. And uh, definitely love to hear from you. Uh, like to thank you for sitting in. Um, Glad to be here. Robert has expressed that probably the weekend after this next one. He will be out again, so if you're okay. available, I would love to have I'll you. I'll plug uh, it in my calendar. Yeah, please do. I'd love to have you on here because we have such a great time. We will have to do another one where we all we get, we gang up on Robert, and Absolutely. especially once you get the nine twenty, we got to get him in between <laughs> yeah, us. So you know? like, ah, <laughs> just give him a Christmas nugget. <laughs> you iPhone well, fiber, I'll be prepared. you. <laughs> I might st maybe I'll stop by next weekend because I'll have it by next weekend. Oh, very cool! Hey, <laughs> you're always the door is always open. We have an additional mic, hot mic, hot mic, ready to roll, ready to roll. <laughs> well, we always love to uh, hear from you. So if you have any ideas, suggestions, um, we definitely would like for you to stop in the chat room while you're watching the show because we'd like to interact with you. But uh, if you catch the show on uh, YouTube, which I see, you know, a number of people do, and we get comments all the time, but. Uh, we love to hear suggestions, ideas, all that good stuff, and even stuff that you don't like. Um, we'll just ignore it, but we like to hear it anyway. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but uh, so uh, again, we just like to thank you for enjoying the podcast, and uh, we will see you next week on another exciting episode of Two Guys Who Dive.